Jonathan, everybody. This is Vinny Maletti with Maletti Law, the strongest name in law. Um, this is part of my Q&A series I usually do. I already did one for um, employment-related stuff. I usually like to do one employment, one IP and, with intellectual property, and one that's um, and one that's e-commerce based. This has to do with intellectual property. I was asked a pretty uh, easy question. Um, you know, you file a 1B, say that you're going to use your mark at some point in the future. You get what's known as a notice of allowance. Hey, your mark is good. You could use it when you're ready. You're ready to use your mark, your brand, your logo. You put it on somewhere on a page, and you file a statement of use to be, you know, to be approved that it could be official and you could be registered. But the question is, what is the minimum that needs to be done for uh, to get to file and show that you're using your mark in commerce? So that you're using that label, using that drawing that you originally filed, using that in you know in commerce in the economy. It varies depending on um, what exactly it is that you do. Uh, so for instance, perfect example, let's say you're a security firm, essentially, you just really need to show your logo on some kind of advertisement, any kind of advertisement for that matter, on some kind of advertisement where you show your logo with the company name and the services you provide, right? So perfect example, I like this company, Animal. Animal sells products. So in that situation, it's that logo on a product sold through some channel of commerce like Amazon or something, or their own website. I mean, it's a very low standard. Um, it's not a very high standard. You know, once you get that far, once you get as far as the USPTO saying that you have no conflicting marks, that it's okay. Like, once you get to that point, you're in pretty good shape. So, um, they're not going to give you a real hard time on it. You know, so once you get past the hump, <laughs> once you get past the initial hump, it's all easy peasy. You know, I know you've heard me in the past how sometimes you get an examiner that's out of hell. But um, once you get past that examiner that's straight out of hell, and they get you past the first round, and you get past that whole, um, and you get past that whole, like, initial preliminary assessment of whether or not you're confusing, whatever the case is, once you get past that first round, you're solid. There, there's pretty easy peasy, easy movie going from that point on. So that is... The only thing to say about that, it's a relatively easy standard. So go ahead and put your once you get that state, once you get that notice of allowance, you can basically slap your logo on anything, advertising your services. You know, really doesn't matter. I've had, I've had makeshift nonsense in my past. So, all right, that's all for now. Making Q days and laws easy. Yours and laws love and lifts. Let's know if you need us. Peace.